You're right, guys. Gary, aka okay, Hopeless, back again. Um, this is a painting video. This is going very, very horribly wrong, as you might hear in the background. My son has just woke up, so um, I'll continue this in a minute. So, over the last year, me and my daughter have gotten into playing the Animal Adventures roleplay game. So, uh, I thought it'd be a nice treat, surprise for her, if I started painting up the minis that came with it. And this is the video that shows how I painted this little Sphinx Sorcerer Cat. Um, as always, I am trying to work on different setups. So I'll apologize straight away. My hand goes in and out of the, uh, the kit recording area quite a lot, I've noticed during this. So, um, sorry. In any case, yeah. This is how I painted the Sphinx Sorcerer Cat from Animal Adventures. Uh, links will be in the description if you want to check it out yourself. This is also the first video where I use uh, my artist Opus detail brushes. They're quite small and I like them. So with that, uh, let's get on with this before the kid wakes up again. So my voiceover has been recorded about a week after that last bit of video. Uh, it's been uh, quite busy. Uh, still trying to find that work-life family balance uh, out, but uh, yeah. So my idea plan with the Sphinx Cat is to try and make it look reasonably realistic. My daughter is not into uh, stuff that's too much, too fantasy-like, if that makes any sense. Starting off with Pallid Witch Flesh for the skin base. This is also the first time I'm using my new Artist Opus brushes. I've uh, got the small set for details and little things. I uh, quite like them. Links down below as always. Next up we're using Insta Alpha's Xenos Purple robe base. I don't know why, but to me purple has always been a, a wizardy, sorcery colour. And I just really like purple. And moving on to the straps on his robe. I'm thinking they're straps. They look like straps to me. That's another Instar paint. That is camo brown. Onto the parchments and little ribbons around his robes. That is Citadel's Shpati bow. For the gold collar around the neck, I went with Citadel's Retributor armor. Uh, he's also got a little headpiece as well, which I uh, did in the same color. For the detailing on the robes, I used Pro Acryl's Light Bronze. Now, I'm going to admit, I've actually just bought myself the entire range for Pro Acryl. So, uh, my videos will mainly be focusing on using those from this point. So, wish me luck. The various jewellery and little rings and trinkets around him, I'm using Pro Acryl's Silver. My main goal with this was just to take my time, have a bit of fun, and basically not feel pressured to make a video about it, which is weird when I've actually made a video about it, so uh, yeah. Didn't realise exactly how many little trinkets there were hanging off of this guy. I keep calling him a guy, but I'm not sure if it's male or female, so... Uh, That'll be fun. Moving on to the little uh, leather pouch he's got on his back. That was Instar's Milk Chocolate. I do like using Instar's uh, Alpha Range. My only issue is that they are now focusing more on the pure stuff and I am not a big fan of mixing my own colors. So they've, uh, they've stopped doing their pre-mixed colors. I've given out all the recipes online, but uh, it's just not for me. Deciding to paint in the flesh on the uh, cat with Gilliman's flesh. Um, most pictures I've seen of a Sphinx cat make him have a very... They either have like a really grey skin tone or a sort of fleshy skin tone. I wanted to go slightly more fleshy. Magos purple is what I used to uh, do the recesses on the robe. Now I did two attempts at the eyes. The first one was using Akalian green. Um, which looked all right, but then I came back a bit later and didn't really like the look of it. So uh, we can we can happily ignore this bit. 
you'll see at the end of the video that uh, I actually ended up using a Yandan Yellow. And a really fine point uh, fine liner to do the dot because I've got fed up with messing about with that. For the parchment and all the ribbons on the little trinkets and stuff I use Agoras Dune. I usually use Skeleton Horde. But I like how this one came out. Went back to the eyes when that dries. Uh, it was originally a bad and black for the uh, dot, but uh, after I'd done them in yellow, I just used a very fine point, fine liner pen to uh, dot the middle. I don't think that looks too bad, but something about the uh, the green just didn't agree with me after I'd uh, done it. While all that was drying, I wanted to do something to the base, so I got the Citadel Texture Pot Sterling Mud, and uh, with a cocktail stick, just started to swish it around the feet. I like these uh, models. My only issue is that they come pre-built, so I think I'd, ideally I would have liked to have like done the base separately, like I do with Games Workshop and the other stuff I got. But uh, yeah. It was alright. When that was dry, I went over and dry brushed it with Grey Seer and my fantastic camera angles, which will be changing in the next video, uh, really showed it off. It's the, uh, the Army Painter dry brushes there. I had one extravagant expense in brushes this month, uh, not really going to go for the next one just yet. Then I went over the gems in the collar and the headpiece and the ribbons uh, backed with Pro Acryl Silver. And then when that had all dried I went over the gems on the collar with Akalian Green. That gives a really nice mystical effect I think. Also A plus camera work there. There we go, now it's in shop. Then I remembered that I'd actually forgotten to do the uh, the final bit of the robe around the bum and tail, so uh, went over the outline with silver and pro acryl. Just realised I'm also losing my voice right now, which is really fun. And once all that dried, I grabbed some tufts, added them to the base, and yeah, there he is. Here, the he is, she is, I'm, I will remember by the time that this video is actually rendered and I'm sure the title will say it's a girl. Might be a girl. Who knows. Well, obviously the creators of the game did. I really like the minis that come with uh, the Animal Adventures starter kit. Um, my daughter loves playing as a Labrador. She's made my girlfriend play as the Boxer. I've been DMing it. It's been quite fun to see her getting into this. So uh, yeah, I'm really hoping she enjoys what I've done as I do hope that you've enjoyed watching this video. Um, I apologise that it's been a bit all over the place. I am trying to work out a, a quicker style of video making and editing, so hopefully this is the start of it. Because generally, I enjoy doing this. I like making videos, I like doing stuff on the internet. Not in a weird way. But, um, yeah. Hopefully I can get back into the swing of things. If you did enjoy this video, please do consider leaving a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think down below. Share it with your friends, even if it's to say, look at this idiot painting things. And if you do like it, subscribe, come back, check out the rest of the playlists, look at everything else I've done. Even if no one watches these videos, I'll still be making them because I really enjoy this. In any case, sorry for the ramble there. My name is Gary, aka Hopeless. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. So until then, see ya.